What is going on, my friends? It is time. It has been a long time since we've done the gauntlet. And here we are in my 2020 Tesla Model 3 Hardware 3 on 11.4.8.1. And we're going to go ahead and throw this right into the gauntlet, starting with our uh, Route to Fashion Valley Mall, the Tesla Supercharger system there. That is the classic gauntlet route. Make sure we select the correct... Well, hang on, we got a navigational issue here. There we go, that time I was able to select it. So we have on the screen here, if you can see that, the classic route. Quick rundown of the course. Uh, for those of you who are new or haven't seen this, this used to be an unbeatable course for full stop driving. It wasn't in fact until well into version 11 that it got consistent at actually being able to conquer this course and do it without disengagement. And throughout this course, what you're gonna see, I wanna test out the initial right turn once we get down this street that we're about to enter it always had an issue, uh, well at least after 10.8, it started to have an issue with initiative. It would just sit there forever and I'd have to give it throttle. We're gonna see that right turn. We're gonna see the subsequent left banking turn down into the 163 merge, which has been a bit of an issue uh, here and there in the past, not really with any sort of consistency as to which update was handling it better than the other. It was sort of a Russian roulette, so to speak. And then how we come onto the actual 163, and then we go down into our 80 split and then the hotel circle round, which since version 11 has not been a problem. And then we're going to really see the hairpin execution after leaving the highway to come into the Fashion Valley area. Rather than going all the way to the Charger, like the classic Gauntlet, we're going to start with Gauntlet 2 and do the return trip, which will take us back onto the 163 and then back up this way to a second sort of yield false positive stop sign scenario. So... Without taking too long here, we'll go ahead and kick this off. I was already in drive, didn't need to hit the stock. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and execute. I love the new single pull to activate autopilot and FSD. It is such a great thing for me. Just simple, no more double tap. All right, let's see how we handle these stop signs. We are again on 11.4.8.1 on average mode. We are sitting here for a while. I'm gonna give a little throttle because this freaking Chevy here, they started to go, which I can partially understand. Now we're hitting our brakes here because of this van. It's already a throttle intervention because it lingered way too long at that stop uh, stop sign. What is, what is this? Jeez, all right, taking over because we're still going towards that damn car. Not the best start. All right, we're kind of flowing to the right here, which is not the best. I'm gonna have to let this damn Chevy behind me pass because she's driving like a total asshat. All right, and I'm gonna give it throttle because I know it's gonna linger too long. It's fighting me. What the hell, man? And we are coming in here a little bit hot. Unexpected struggle on such a simple road. That's why I've always started it on this road when it came to the gauntlet because it's it's proven to be a pretty good litmus test to how well the system's performing. We are way too far back here. All right, we're gonna redo that because we have this impatient shithead behind us and I wanna give it a proper start. So I'll fast forward till we start again, but this is part of the gauntlet frustration. I'm gonna show you guys everything. All right, let's see. It is also, it is Saturday. It is a very busy day, uh, but that's what hardcore testing is all about, seeing how the system performs under extraneous circumstances. So I'll see you back at the initial start point. Okay, let's double check the route again. We are still in the clear as far as what the route looks like. And we're gonna give this another go here. We are in average mode. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it here. Single pull for the win. And give the system another chance to actually go through here and see how it does. Um, Hopefully I don't really have to intervene too much. That was really frustrating the way it was kind of slinking into the right, which these are, you know, parking spots and such. It hasn't been an issue in the past. You'll notice extra frustration from me, when, especially when it's something that I know it does really well, but it's just, you know, taking a dump on it. All right, come on, we need to, all right. We got saved by the pedestrian. That took way too long. Also on the first impressions video, that was dramatic that my wife and I did uh, a few days ago. There, there were a couple of people that were, you know, 
sad about the language used. Their their ears were melting. They had to turn the video off. You know, I without trying to sound too insensitive, frankly, I just don't feel like going through the headache of editing out every time that I say something that somebody deems unpleasant. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch. It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to use dirty language or curse or whatever, but if it comes out as a descriptive term or it's an expli explicative in the moment, bottom line, you're going to get authentic me. And I apologize in advance if you don't like it. Um, maybe don't listen or watch my videos around the kids as much. All right, let's see here. We're lingering. We're lingering. I mean, we're, we're creeping forward to check for visibility, which is fine. Now, after this GMC, we're clear. We need to go. Well, it's too late. Now we got an Audi and a Tesla and a GMC. And we're still sitting here. And I'm giving it throttle because, dude, you got to fucking have some balls like that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just going to say some things. And it is what it is. And I'm giving it throttle again because of the humans. And we're stopping in the middle of the street. So I'm giving it throttle again. Um, likely to curse more often when FSD annoys me. <laughs> won't linger that on anymore. Or I won't linger on that any longer. But you know, you're going to get authentic me. Take it or leave it. Here we go. Let's merge over. We're taking way too long. Man. All right. You know, I think part of the problem is I haven't had the system on the gauntlet in so long that's gotten lazy you know it's like I gotta get the car back in the gym here we gotta beat it up we gotta get on the gauntlet more we gotta stress it out Let's see how we handle all these merges and such traffic is not excessively high compared to other days or times that I've done this we're sitting in this lane for a hot minute compared to how we used to get over we would have been in this lane a lot sooner I would like to think maybe not I have to go back and watch some of my old gauntlet videos to see lane change execution in the time that I've used it's been really smooth I've really enjoyed that even the boss wife was saying it felt more human in a good way because more human can also be a negative connotation as you all are well aware once we actually get off the highway and we're heading toward the hairpin turn I'll put in the return route to go the other way yeah, I don't really expect any issue here. In the early days, the version 10 days, these two points were typically a failure every time. It was a random fluke that they would do them correctly. The system would fly into this corner way too fast. It would just miss that exit just about every time without me taking over. But version 11 did fix a lot of highway concerns. I mean, there's still some issues with merging behavior and you know little things, but nothing that I think is a, a real limiting factor. Now, hopefully, I, I have noticed some wonky behavior when it comes to these sorts of split off exits up here. To the left goes back to the eight, and to the right is our destination heading down Hotel Circle. And hopefully, okay, good. We're still on the right course there. Uh, you might see on the return trip, every now and then the Washington Street exit gets wonky because the system seems to not know which one to commit to. It's sort of a new development. It's always been pretty good about that. All right, and as we're coming up to this hairpin, I'm going to go ahead and put in our next spot. Hopefully this doesn't jack anything up. Shouldn't. There we go. Now, what we want here is, you know, smoothness. You know, a pause to make sure it's clear is okay. You know, humans do that, but we have our own designated lane, so we don't need to stop, which is what we're doing. We're stopping for stop sign. even said it on the screen. So that is still a problem. I'm pushing us through with the throttle. There it goes, finally taking over from my input. Very good. So far only had that one disengagement with our first attempt to go uh, down Essex because of that weird behavior next to that van that was backing up and then parking again and being weird. Now, traditionally we would go into this left lane and with version 11, they fixed the really late staging issue, which was nice, because they used to get over like right here, <laughs> which was bad. That's an interesting color. We'll zip through any red lights. There we go. Pretty good arc around here. Not too bad. We'll see how we handle the stop sign and hairpin getting onto the highway. 
Now, the cool thing is this merge back onto the eight, wrapping around to the 163 is in fact a stop sign. So there's not really any issue with how it executes there. Be a little slow or a little weird about getting over, but then it needs to be able to, you know, accelerate and get moving because we're getting onto the highway here. You don't want to linger too long or, or be too slow when you have all that fast moving traffic around you. All right, we've got a lot of people getting on. Let's see how we behave. We've got a double line. Haven't really had any issue with that in the past. Very good, nice and smooth. Let's see, got somebody behind us. We are really back here. We need to creep up more. All right, if we're stopping here, then I'm gonna push us because we, we don't want to double stop. There we go. Now we need to accelerate. And what I meant by double stop is we came to a complete stop probably a good meter before the line. And then we would creep forward and stop again inducing a honk from someone behind us <laughs> at least that's how it is in california so rather than that just count that as our stop and keep on moving not the worst execution a lot of throttle interventions probably five or six so far total since we started you know granted you know i, I kind of would erase the beginning not necessarily erase but not count it as much i'll leave it in the video of course though so you can see all the authenticity I'm not here to overly praise or overly criticize, just bring you the facts. Here we go, now this is where he's been performing really well, getting on speed perfectly, getting over, executing the lane change. Now let's see if we can actually commit to this next lane on the Washington Street exit. I feel like the mitigation of deceleration and acceleration has gotten a bit better. To elaborate on that, I mean, when you have those slowdowns there's less of a chance that I need to give it all the throttle to actually continue. It's picking back up. All right, let's see. This is where we were having some issue. Are we gonna stay committed? Uh, uh, it almost did it, but nope, cool. We stay committed to the proper lane. Now, this coming up is our last interesting yield to false positive stop sign scenario. This yield's tough though, because we're coming up at an angle, a bank and an incline trying to look to the left so it's definitely a case of having good visibility uh, people just run through here some people actually stop and linger but you can kind of see we need to just move and we're we're stopping way too far back for one this is about the point where we should be checking and i'm giving it throttle to push us through okay i'm off the throttle now let's see we are getting the false positive so i'm giving it throttle again because we have our own lane here that stop sign again is not for us and that concludes lap one of the gauntlet. Um, for the sake of trying to get this video out today, I am not gonna do a lap two. I definitely wanna do more of this though. This I'm getting back into the flow and doing this, but I'm actually leaving as soon as I've got this video uploaded to y'all today. I'm heading out to Vegas and Arizona for work. So yeah, um, me being busy has not changed. I'm just trying to get this in there so I can get the content out, keep the channel growth going, and bring you all this stuff and not let it die but i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think give me all the feedback and comments down below ideas as to why this isn't performing the way it is and i look forward to getting more videos out to you I, I probably won't be able to do more of our road trip video until i'm back from this darn service run out of state but video is coming man lots of videos coming thanks again everybody for tuning in i'll catch you in the next one